Good morning. I finally got out to get the staghorn sumac blossoms. And here's a whole stand of them. So I'm going to grab, I don't know, probably five or six of them. I brought some bird, whoa, sorry. Uh, I brought some bird seed to leave as an offering. And um, also, I have some goldenrod here at the same place. So I might grab a couple of those. Um, to dry for my winter stores until it blooms again. Here's what I got. I just grab a few from every location and I'll take these home and dry them. They're good for colds and stuff. And um, I'll run down the... Here's the staghorn sumac blossoms. This makes an awesome sumac aid. Uh, like a lemonade almost pink pink lemonade it tastes like looks like they're beautiful and uh, it's one of the kids favorite and I s sweeten it with some stevia leaf and uh, it's a fun late summer treat so instead of putting these on the dehydrator uh, I'm just gonna dry them naturally on the trays but um, I'm just going to stick them in the barn. It's been so hot here in New Hampshire that I don't need to add air to this. It will do it by itself. But here's some of the golden mod that I got. Very pretty. And I'm just going to clip the tops. So then when they're dry, I'm just going to... I'll show you with one like this. You just take the stem and run your finger down and it brings the blossoms out off the stem and you can store them like that. They're still wet because I washed them off. A goldenrod is good for skin wounds. You want to make an infusion and make a, a cold compress type of thing for any wounds. Um, just be sure to strain it real good. You don't want to put it on an open wound if there's pieces of goldenrod in it because it can actually heal within the wound um, and create further problems which you don't want. And then uh, the tea is good for a kidney flush. If you think you're coming down with a kidney infection, it's good to flush your kidneys with this. Also UTIs, any urgency or burning. This combined with UV URC is excellent. Um, goldenrod tea is a good diuretic. It equals to dandelion, which it's contraindicated if you're on a fluid pill like Lasix because then you'll get double duty and you don't want to do that either. So either use one or the other. And as always, you know, follow your doctor's recommendations. Colds and flu, uh, arthritis. It's good for as an anti-inflammatory. Things like gout, the tea is good for. It's good for hemorrhoids. If you suffer from hemorrhoids, to do like a compress for that as well. And, you know, just cool it off. You want to make the, the infusion and then cool it off in the refrigerator. And make sure it's nice and cold. Both the constituents in the goldenrod and the coldness from the refrigerator, temperature cold, um, will help with the hemorrhoids. So, um, thankfully, I don't speak from experience with that. I haven't got them yet, TMI. But uh, four kids, and um, I've lucked out. I had most of my children C-sections, so <laughs> I don't have that issue yet. I'm sure I won't get away without it. But. Anywho, um, you can always also use this as an eye wash um, if you have like congestive itis or any type of uh, inflammatory thing going on with your eyes. It's very good. I recommend using a, a distilled water, not tap water though, um, unless you boil it really good and then 
put your herb in. Just make sure you strain it really good. Gearing up for the flu and cold season. So it's a good immune booster. And there, I'll just let these dry. Let's see, and as an immune boost, you want to do about two or three cups a day. So, and that will gear you up, um, especially if you combine it with elderberry, like an elderberry syrup, then it you'll be all set. Your immune system will be ready to fight those little germs in the uh, in the winter time. I drive a school bus, so it's like a rolling petri dish. So uh, I really have to do a lot of work on my immune system, so I'm not sick all all winter. Tea, if you give your lover a cup of tea made of goldenrod, it will seal in your love <coughs> and uh, make it a lasting love. Uh, it's good for protection magic. The rod can be used as a dowsing rod if you've lost something. Um, so it's good for look, looking for lost objects or treasures that you want to find. If you drink it during ritual, it's good for tuning with your inner self and you can use it for divinatory purposes. Opening your third eye, that type of thing. And um, oftentimes people will shy away from goldenrod thinking that they're allergic to it. Um, when most of the time, the season, it's ragweed that's the culprit for, uh, unless you're specifically allergic to goldenrod. You know, you've had allergy tests and, you know, the scratch tests and things. Um, it's usually the ragweed that people are allergic to in the environment, not the goldenrod. You can also burn goldenrod as an incense for divin divination, love, protection, um, and luck. So, that is goldenrod. One thing I forgot um, about the goldenrod, um, I like to incorporate it into my Mabon ritual as a final farewell to the sun god for the year, the second harvest, just to kind of thank him for all our bounty for the year. Our garden is already coming to a close with two weeks till Mabon. All we really have is Swiss chard and pumpkins and tomatoes left and we're kind of deconstructing the garden already. So that kind of makes me sad but I'm so ready for sowing and, and sweatshirt weather and apple picking and all that stuff. So yeah so if you have just you know include goldenrod in your bouquets for your altar as the god switches from the sun god to the god of the hunt for the fall and winter then um you will kind of say goodbye for another year till the spring thanks for watching